Brad Cruikshank joins me on this latest edition of Steelers TV. Let's first of all take a look at the uh, the game against Alberg and uh, A, a great performance, B, a great victory, but I thought the whole team has gelled very quickly. It's almost like you've never been away. Yeah, absolutely, and um, you know, I think that's just going to work to our advantage this year, and I think we surprised a lot of people tonight, and um, you know, it seems like we're kind of you know the underdogs again to, to win the title even though we the, you know we won everything last year um, and you know we kind of like playing that role but uh, I think the guys showed tonight that we mean business this year and, and do, you, do you see it as that that uh, that we are kind of going under the radar and people are talking to the new Coventry and they're talking to Nottingham they're talking to Belfast and they've almost forgotten us again absolutely and, and you know what that just plays into our favor and that's great I, we love the focus to be on uh, everywhere else and uh, we have a very humble group of guys, and uh, we like to kind of fly under the radar and stay yeah. quiet. One place, of course, we're going for the first time is on Wednesday. Charity Shield is the Sheffield Steelers taking on the Nottingham Panthers, and uh, 6,000 people are going to be in the building for that. Those games are, are fantastic games. and it's, Even in a Charity Shield, it's going to be good to get one over on the Panthers, wouldn't it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the, last year was the first time I was a part of that, and it's a pretty amazing atmosphere in there and our, our building. And... Um, you know, it's a, even though it's a charity game and it's a friendly, it's... Uh, I don't think there's anything called a friendly when the Steelers and the Panthers no, get together. No, I, I think it's going to be a, a tone setter for the year yeah. and we're going to want to go in there and win and, you know, they're going to want to put on a show for their crowd and um, I expect it to, to start out as a war. Yeah. Just a quick word on one of your former teammates who's now one of your new teammates now, Kevin Wright. That played out standingly well here against Alberg. It's going to be a big atmosphere for him in that. The first time he's experienced that, is he the kind of guy who's got the temperament to cope with those big nights? Absolutely. He played in uh, Fort Wayne uh, before he came to Basingstoke, and they play in front of ten thousand people every night. And uh, you know, he, he's going to be he's going to be just fine. He, you know, he, he had a last weekend he came in and, and played, and he had all brand new gear on. You know, the you could tell that the rebounds weren't settling the way he wanted to. But um, you know, he's a perfect guy to bring in after Jody because he, he's a, he almost mimics Jody to a T for me. Um, he works as hard in practice, off the ice. Um, he's as intense as Jody. Um, he's very, very much like Jody. and Just a little quieter. Just a little quieter. A little <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not tough to do, but uh, rides will do fine in those games, and uh, you can see tonight that he's starting to settle down. His equipment's breaking in, and... Uh, He'll be ready for those games. Tough night for him tonight, wasn't it? Because it was all about Jody almost tonight, coming back, coming back, and we kind of almost forgotten Ryder, and, and then he goes and puts a sterling man of the match performance in. Oh, he played unbelievable tonight, and he shut the door on him, and, um, you know, I, I would expect a lot more of that out of him this year. Okay, Wednesday night, we're all in Nottingham.